place the probe holder clip side up on the filter paper on the microscope stage. Push down on the holder to raise the clip. Using the angled needle nose tweezers, guide the probe under the clip to place it within the recess of the holder. Position the probe to the top left corner of the recess using your tweezers. To remove the probe, carefully grip the front of the probe while pushing down on the holder to raise the clip. Using tweezers, advance and cut a small piece of double-sided tape from the dispenser. Attach it to the center of the disc. Make certain the tape is flat and wrinkle-free. Place your sample onto the tape, making certain it fits within the diameter of the disc and is level. Launch the nanoscope software from the desktop. Choose your mode of operation from the experiment category and load experiments. For the video, we are using tapping mode in air. The starting parameters and available channels are opened and displayed. Set up your windows as desired, then select Setup from the workflow toolbar at the left of the parameter list. You are now ready to load your sample and the probe. Using the flat nose tweezers for a secure grip, position your sample at the center of the magnetic stage of the scanner. Push towards the center using your tweezers if necessary. Check the height of the sample in relation to the two positioning pins on the floor of the optical head. If the sample surface is above the height of the pins, click and hold the switch at the base of the microscope in the up position. This raises the optical head to a safe distance from the sample to install the probe safely without possible damage to the tip. Carefully insert the probe holder, placing it to the back of the optical head, allowing it to sit freely on the positioning pins. Reach around to the center knob in the rear of the optical head. Turn the knob to secure the probe holder. Do not over tighten. Note the location of the XY laser positioning knobs. Start by moving Y slowly half a turn counterclockwise while observing the sum on the microscope display. If it does not increase, return to the start position and move Y half a turn clockwise. When you notice an increase in the sum, keep adjusting to maximize it. Then adjust X clockwise and counterclockwise to again maximize the sum. If you do not see an increase, incrementally make small about quarter turn counterclockwise adjustments to X following with Y until you see a sum increase. The typical maximum sum for a tapping mode probe is about 6 to 7 volts. To align the laser reflection to the center of the position sensitive detector or PSD, turn the vertical knob at the top left of the optical head until vertical value reaches 0 plus or minus 0 0.2. At the back left of the optical head, Turn the horizontal knob until the horizontal value reaches 0 plus or minus 0 0.2. The alignment is now complete. Return to the setup menu and select Auto Tune. The drive frequency is automatically set to your specific probe type. With the illumination on and set at half intensity, start bringing the camera down while observing the live image. You may notice the reflection from the lens as well as small dust particles within the optics of the camera tube. Continue to lower the camera to focus on the probe. It should appear black, either completely covering or to the right side of the live camera image. Use the black microscope positioning knobs on the stage to center the probe into the field of view. Then continue to lower the camera to focus on the sample surface. Adjust the illumination intensity as needed. Slowly lower the optical head to bring the probe closer to the sample surface using the down position on the microscope base. Allow some defocus to prevent the tip from coming into contact with the surface. Reposition the probe using the XY knobs below the optical head to a clean area of interest for imaging. Click on check parameters on the workflow toolbar. Set your desired starting scan size and click on engage at the workflow toolbar. The head motor takes over to slowly lower the probe. Once the probe senses the surface, it will automatically briefly contact the surface and begin scanning left to right. You will notice the contrast will automatically adjust to accommodate the highs and lows of the sample morphology. You can override this contrast by typing in a value in the scale field. As the scope settles in, click on the folder on the upper right to select or create your file saving location. Also, enter a unique file name for your sample and click Enter. 
You are now able to adjust your area of interest by changing scan size, X and or Y offsets, and scan rate. Generally, 1 Hz works well for scan size below 10 to 15 microns. You must slow it down for larger scan size. Optimize your image resolution by slowly increasing the integral gain using the right arrow on the keyboard or entering a value directly, and by increasing the samples per line. Your goal is to see the red and blue trace and retrace curve below the image duplicate each other. Once optimized and you're ready to capture your image, select the left camera icon and begin the scan over using the frame up or frame down icon. At the lower right of the display, the capture status is displayed as on with time remaining to capture. If changes are made to any of the parameters, the capture status is displayed as next and you should use the frame up or frame down icon to begin the scan again. Another option for choosing your area of interest is zoom. Located under the image, click and drag on the image to select the specific location. Use your mouse to drag and resize the box. Then select execute. You can also click on offset located under the image to click on a specific feature. Following execute, the feature will then be centered on your next scan. Once your imaging is completed, select Withdraw from the workflow toolbar on the left. Then hold the up position on the microscope base for about three seconds to increase the physical distance between the probe and the sample. Remove the probe from the optical head, remove the sample, and close the nanoscope software.